baby. This is Dimax doing what it is that I do each and every week just for you. So, 2017 is the year. We trying to make a little comeback here and have a little nice taping that's going to go on with Mr. D-Nice and Brother Al Malik. Alright, so we got a Muslim on one side, Israelite on the other side. Years ago they did something. So you know what, they're going to be back at it again. I'm just going to do a little moderation, moderating. I'm just going to do a little moderating. Hopefully, hopefully you can right. moderate. Yeah. Hopefully which, which, is, moderate. which is the, uh, what, what do you call it again? When you're the lay person, <laughs> you know, and you just hearing all this noise in your ears. Because <laughs> that's what they do, you know. Both of them got a lot of noise. Both of them have some good points. And you know what my thing is, togetherness. Why, why we just can't? Love one another, be together. But you'll see why in a second. All right, so. Be nice. Well, let me just first uh, introduce myself. You know, that was long drawn and a lot of wind, cloud with no rain. So what I want to say it is this. So hold on a second. You said you're just going to be a lay person. Uh, a lay person as far as I'm the not obeying your Bible, but I can speak. We're not. First of all, I'm the not Bible. Deaf and oh, dumb. But hold on. The Bible, and I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it a million times. The Bible is not up for debate. The Bible is a book, and it's the word of the Lord, or the Most High, through Christ, which you call or which his name is Yahweh Shad Mashiach in Hebrew, but you know him as the Jesus Christ. That's what the, the, the English way is saying. Now, Jesus Christ or Yahweh Shad, he is the mediator between man and the Most High, what we call Yahweh. So let's get it right. I want to make sure I get these terms out so you're going to understand the Hebrew Israelite point of view versus Islam and Allah. And we're going to give him a chance, Amalek. Tell everybody about, you know, your little view. What you going to say? Well, okay, so let me finish. No, wait, no, let him get a little I didn't, beat. I didn't, no, you want to finish? Sorry, sorry. Like, no. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's no, why I... Just go ahead and introduce so we can get this introduction out of the way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. I, I saw like the name of Allah King, the person, Master Father Muhammad. One God to whom all praise to do forever, the Lord of all the worlds. And the name of Yeshua is the last and greatest message to you and I, the so-called American Negro, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. May peace and blessing be upon him. I'm here to try to clear up some misunderstandings about uh, these groups of Hebrew Israelites so going around saying we need some 12 tribe chart, we get some 12 tribes. It's going to be get this special blessing from Allah in these last days, which contradicts the teaching of Master Muhammad gave to this man here, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He said, There's one seed of Abraham that been in a country that's been enslaved for 400 years. It's in the book of Genesis, 15th chapter. And uh, it's not. Twelve is one seed of Abraham that is slave for four hundred years. All right, so you know what we, we see kind of where they go in opposite directions. Now let the show begin. Thanks for watching. Thank you so very much. First of all, his misconception and his error, everything he said was just wrong. Number one, I want to say it again. I'm going to reiterate, reiterate this statement. <laughs> the Most High and Yahweh, the Most High through Christ or Yahweh Shai. He is dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel. The whole Bible is about the lost 12 tribes of Israel. The reason you're lost, because you don't lost your mind, you don't know who you are, you are caught up in different religions, Islam, Christianity, Baptist, Buddhist, uh, uh, Morism, you name it. Black lives, conscious, comedic, all this foolishness as you are. So you're caught up in a, what we call a lost state of mind. Spiritually, physically, mentally. That's why the scriptures refer to you as the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The problem is when somebody try to introduce this to you, you can't understand it because you're spiritually dead. You haven't been activated yet. And then you're on top of that, you're, you're doing things, everything other than what the commandments of Yahweh Shai through the Most High, I mean, uh, the Most High through Yahweh Shai told us to do. Because most... Christ, the one everybody called Christ, which is Yahweh Shah, he is sent to the 12 tribes. He wasn't sent to nobody else. And that's scripture. So for you to go build any other organization and create any other thing other than what is written, what is what is supposed to go according to the word of Yahweh Shah, because he got the commandment from your most high, which is Yahweh, which y'all call God, or you call him Allah, but we call him a title, the most high, but his name is Yahweh, meaning he is, he exists. Yahweh Shah means he is salvation. He is the Savior. So, 
The one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, his real name in Hebrew is Yahweh Mashiach. And those names mean, every Hebrew word has meaning to it. So, I don't accept Islam, I don't accept, I don't accept Kemet, I don't accept anything other than the commandments of the one who was sent to give us the true way how we was going to reach for our salvation or what you call get out from under the white man, the devil, or all the other nations because they all hate the children of Israel. Now, you want to rebuttal because I want to get into it. I want this thing to get hot. Let's, let's move on. Let's go now. What you got to say what I just said about that? Well, brother, it's, it's a matter of uh, how you understand understand how to proper understand the scripture. Now, we know the, the first book of the Bible, Genesis, do, if you believe that Abraham is a son of the child of God, right? Because usually most Christians, Hebrews or Jews or Muslims, they all respect Abraham as being a man of God. Or we say the child of God. Right? Is that right? Well, right. we, uh, we respect all of the prophets and all our four parents and forefathers. That he's just one of them. He was just one that was chosen. Out of, and Abraham was an Israelite. If you know, you just he wasn't called it, but he's from the lineage of the Israelites. Israelites has changed. When Jacob had 12 sons, they didn't call them Israelites. Okay. So now, what I'm going to say, all the people that came from Abraham are not Israelites. And I keep telling you, this book is all about the Israelites. This whole book of salvation and control of the world and all these things that have been happening to us is Really about I mean, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me finish. Take over the, I said, right, but let me finish. Let me finish. Yes, yeah, you see, ask the question. Because you're trying to inject. Let me because you're trying to inject Abraham as he is. Wait, wait a second. You're trying to make Abraham look like every child. Wait a second. Let me finish. 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 Abraham, just because you come from Abraham, Abraham had many children. The thing is, which ones are the chosen? Okay, that's what right. line is the chosen. Now, now, tell now, 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 What quote? Quote the scripture. Genesis, Let me think 15, people 15 chapter 12 verse. Good, thank you. Now Genesis yeah. says, As the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell on Abraham. That time named Abraham. Later on, God changed it to Abraham, right? Yeah, meaning many nations. And lo, a, a dread and great darkness fell upon him. He fell asleep. Darkness fell upon him. Okay, what then the Lord it? said to Abraham, Know of a surety that your descendants will be sojourners in a land that is not dead. And will be slaves there, slaves there, yeah. and they will be oppressed for 400 years. Right. But I will bring judgment on the nation which they serve. Good. Right? And afterward, they shall come out with great possessions. Right. This man, the Almighty Muhammad said, Allah came to him and told him that we are, the so-called American Negroes, are the only people in slavery that were actually enslaved for 400 years, 1555 to 1955. No other people, even the Caribbean blacks, they were enslaved. The South American blacks were in slavery, but none of them in slavery as long or as strong as the so-called American Negro. We all want to fit that description. Not 12 different groups, not the Caribbean, as the Hebrews like says. Not the, the Puerto Ricans, not the uh, people from Guyana, or South America, or Dominican. Only the so-called American Negroes made more blind, deaf, and dumb, and oppressed than any other slaves in the Western Hemisphere. That's a historical fact. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, 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 wait, 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 we don't stick together. And what you, what I'm Hold saying, on, I, yeah. don't, I don't agree with him. I don't agree with everything he just that's, said. I want to show you his error. But that's what I'm saying. What he just said is one thing, but we don't stick together anyway, so could that be the problem? Hold on but a anyway, second. First ahead. of all, let, let, let's get this in more context. He's, first of all, he's off. He just went off. He just used the Bible, right? No, number one, he talked about his Muslim. Or this Muslim thing, uh, uh, what you call him? What's the name of the guy again? Master Quran Muhammad. Now, where is he? Wait, wait, where is he? Wait a second. Where is he mentioned in the prophecies that come and teach Israel or the the, the 
the children that went into slavery, where is he at through the whole book of this whole Bible? Because you got to deal with the whole Bible. You can't deal with one book or one chapter. You have to take the whole thing. Either you believe all the records in the Bible, or you're just going to take one thing, just like all other people do, just like the white man, just like the East Indians, and all the rest of you people. You go and use our book, which is a Hebrew Israelite book, and you take things out and use it, twist it for your own way. Muhammad ain't got nothing to do with this Bible. So we say, Muhammad, and what's it? Fire, what's it, baby, your leader? What you call him again? Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad, he has nothing to do. All he basically really was trying to tell you, if you really want to know, he was like, tell you, there's going to be some people that's going into slavery for 400 years. Now, those people are, yes, true. They are one group of us, which is known as the, the so called black Americans, that's the tribe of Judah. But there's other groups, 11 tribes, that also fit the same curses in Deuteronomy 28 68. Or all curses in Deuteronomy 48, and you can read on down. You can read the whole book of Deuteronomy, and you can find all these curses that was going to happen. And Abraham actually understood it as well, because the Most High gave him that understanding. Now, who was these group of people that went into this harsh slavery for 400 years? Yes, the Indians went into slavery too. They went in by ships as well, even though they came over here after King Solomon at the time, well, we don't, you don't know the history, going on. I'm just going to confuse you, but the kingdom of Israel was split up, and nine and a half tribes came over to this America. They was known as the Northern Kingdom, because we was fighting among ourselves back then, just like we fight among ourselves now. There was hatred between the Southern Kingdom, which was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, or for Europe, for the edification of the people, the blacks, the West Indians, the Haitians, and they was known as the Southern Kingdom, and then they were what we call the Northern Kingdom, which was Ephraim, and Manasseh, the Cubans, and the North American Indians, South American Indians, they all came over here long before we got here. We're talking about the, the Southern Kingdom got here. Now, with that being said, there's a book, like, I found there's a lot of Hebrew Israelite uh, brothers out there and sisters out there, and Depending on which one you want to get information from, some brothers are good at historical facts, some brothers are good at repentance, some brothers are good at breaking down scriptures, but I found one group, ISUIC, right, that you even had your debate with, they made a 12 trial video, which I find to be excellent. That doesn't mean they're the only ones that make this, but they made a video that I even had to purchase, and I actually watched it to get even more edification, and they gave you historical books, archaeology, history, scriptures, breaking down what the 12 tribes, who they are, where they were, and who they are today. Based on the scriptures, not based upon no man's interpretation, not based on my ideology, not based on my opinion or their opinion. you got to be a fool or you got to be carnally dead if they can't figure out who the 12 tribes are. Because a lot of people, this knowledge ain't for you. There's only a elect group. There's only a, a elect group of people. Out of all our people, only one third of you are going to understand this truth. The rest of you cannot get it, no matter what happens. And that's already prophesied. Now, that's in the book of Zechariah. Two thirds will be cut off, one third will be brought out of this destruction. Uh, okay. Yeah, now, 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 the Genesis says this about this yeah, go back. seed of Abraham, right? Yeah. Now, notice the, that's the Old Testament. And it ended up in the book of Malachi. It's because. Now, let's talk about those 12. Uh, yeah, please. The other, other members of the so called 12 tribes. Yeah, Puerto Ricans. I was working, for example, my, my cousin. Uh, are we going to say scripture or are you going to give me a personal account? So I respect Puerto Ricans. You know, my father cousin married you know, my family. You don't respect them. I, I, you you I, don't I, respect I, I got Jamaicans. You, you don't. You, you don't respect the 12 yeah, tribes. You don't respect them. You don't because you don't know who they are. Married my family. Uh, you know, so I respect all the other oppressed blacks in the Western Hemisphere, but the fact of the matter is. American so-called Negroes caught more help. As a matter of fact, and he should, and he should, he should catch more help. He should catch more help because he's the top leader of the twelve tribes. You know what? I didn't interrupt you, brother. No, I got. I'm sorry. I just can't take it sometimes. <laughs> My goodness, I don't, don't be rude. Just, just be I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, 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 I answered. You just talk so long. Pop talk about the cattle. Now, as I was saying, Father, I'm rude. Now, those other groups so -called, in that so-called 12 tribe chart, they were enslaved, like I said before, but they were free, see the white man is very shrewd, he freed them, maybe some of them 50 years before he freed us, and even while they were in slavery, they didn't experience the same degree of degradation that even to this day, we've been black American so-called Negroes being profiled 
and murder, they say by police officers, race cops, and all kind of ways, uh, you name it. We'll catch you more hell to this day than all the other people on that so-called trial. And we're more unity. blind, deaf, and dumb. We have less unity. Yeah. unity. Hard to organize the so-called American Negro. Because those other groups, they have. Can we go fast. They have. I can't, I can't have, remember all the spoofs that you're saying. But just well, hurry up. Let me finish. They have, I'm not naive. You didn't do that to you. Yeah, I'm telling you. They have nation status. They we got seats in the UN. So they got countries in the UN status. We don't have that. So, man, I swear the house right here in Holland, a brother from Jamaica told, came to me, an x ray technician. He said, man, in my country, very proud. He said, we got it better than you guys. What do you mean, brother? He said, people running my country talking about Jamaica. They look like me. So they got more unity, more knowledge of self, which empowers them. And they have they have unity from back when, so, and they got it till today, so, so, and we still don't oh, get okay, it. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. This is what God, Allah said to us in the last uh, chapter of the book of, the book of Malachi. That's why he's going to bless us. Gonna put, because we're the most despised and rejected. We're that single Abraham, us, the so-called American Negro. We don't want to see it. It's a, it's a, why do you keep saying the seed of Abraham? Why don't you call us our nationality corner? Why, why are you only going only to one? Let me, may I ask a question now? Because he said a lot of foolishness. Let me finish. Okay, guys, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's God the problem came, with these stupid The Bible says the Son of Man will come. We said the Son of Man did come in the person of Master for our Muhammad. No, he did. You're a liar. Me, You're a liar. You're a liar. Finish, You're a liar. Let me finish, man. See, that's blasphemy. You know what blasphemy let me finish. is? You know what blasphemy is? That is a lie. I'm not a lie. You didn't, you didn't disprove it. But by the well, fact, I can disprove I, that. I, I, what are you I talking about? I can prove it by the fact you have. Look, look, no, no, no. That's not that's proven. Right. That's let not proven. Wait, wait, you know what? Let that's me just, a lie. Let me, let me just wait, say this. Hold up. You are with the Muslims. You with the Israelites. Somebody, somebody started the Israelite movement. Somebody started. There's no such thing as no Israelite movement. There's no such thing. Israelites been commanded way back during the time of Christ, Yahweh Shah. Hold on, we need to be quiet. Look, 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 listen to me. Listen, listen to me. I want to say this again. The Bible is not up for discussion. I mean, it's not up for debate. The Bible is written. Either you understand it as it's written correctly or you don't. Now, the reason why you can't not see anything because you are a victim of Isaiah 8.20. Now, I want you to go to 8.20. Let me finish, man. I didn't finish. I'm going to talk right now. Let me finish. You know what? Y'all got to understand that people is going to look at this. That's what y'all... They can look at it. And I'm just saying... I hope they look at it. Where is the... There's never unity There will be no unity. There's separation. There's always listen, separation, listen, listen. and that's the problem. Listen, I'm not here to unify what we call everybody. I'm not interested in that. Let me put that on. Let me make that clear to you all. I'm not interested in unifying with everybody. I need separation. I want to be separate. Wait, hold a second. Hold a second. No, you don't teach it. You don't teach our people correctly of how they should separate. See, what you did was you created another pop-up religion. I have nothing to do with religion called Islam. I have nothing to do with Christianity. I have nothing to do with Buddhism or Muslim or, or, or Kemetic or all the other foolishness that you all guys all do. I'm only interested in one thing, focusing on one thing. The Most High and His Son, which you call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shah. I'm not talking about the white Caesar Bogier. I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about the one that's the mediator that was sent into the world. Well, into the world to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the 12 tribes, and give them the knowledge of salvation and repentance so that they can get themselves ready so they can get to take over the world after the nuclear war. I'm not interested in joining hands and hands with everybody. I don't care about hand in hand. Two thirds of my own people out of all the 12 tribes will not make it because you know why you're not gonna make it? You're too brainwashed, you're too brain dead, you can't understand who you are, you don't know your true nationality, you don't know your correct history, you don't know how to interpret the Bible correctly, you're lost. But so my even, job even, is my job is be quiet. No, my even job, Israelites none, go back and forth and battle with each other. Because we're like, battling for we're not battling for the same reason I'm sitting here with you. I don't care. Like that. All of a sudden, we, battle, battle. we battle to edify and to get us to a more, even better correct understanding. But you're afraid Good. Sometimes your swords need to fight to sharpen each other to make each other better. 
And, I, and I'm glad that Israelites are doing it. I'm glad that there's many divisions. And, I'm, and we're not a cult. We're people that... Yeah, that's well, hold on a second, hold on a second. The only cult is, if you guys, if you really want to know, anything outside this Bible, because you're not going to find... I'm going to say this right. I'm not going to say this publicly. You will not find Islam in the Bible. I'm talking about the Lord never... The Most High, the Creator of all creation, never told... His people to create a religion called Islam. He never told them to create a religion called Christianity. He never told them to and, uh, a religion, or make up a religion called Buddhism. He never told them to be uh, whatever else y'all pop up, what I call pop up made religion. This book is not here. I'm not here to debate the book. I'm here to confirm the book. And everything you said is a lie, mostly. You have not. You, I don't have an opinion. Again. You have you 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 quoted no, you one know. little scripture and then you went off into a whole lot of stuff. You should have quoted many scriptures to back up what you said. Don't just use I one. Have been you went to Abraham like most of the Arabs do, and most of you so-called righteous Muslims. You can't go past one little tiny three verses, and that's it. Your whole doctrine is based on one scripture. Are you kidding me? You got to break this. This book is. Much deeper than that. It's much more deeper than that. Can I speak now? Now you can speak. Say what you got to say. I want to hear this myself. Uh, <laughs> now, I, I just talked about Genesis, right? And I said the Son of Man came. But well, we don't call it Jesus Christ. Let's get straight. They, they choose on. We don't call it Jesus by Christ. We said that Christ came in person. That's from Muhammad. Because he had that. Well, say it again. Let me say that again. I want to. I mean, Christ came in person. That that's slowly, because I want to say it again. You say Christ came in person. Let him say it. Let me finish up. I said Christ came in a person of. I'll line the person master for our Muhammad. Why? Because the type of information you brought, the knowledge, wisdom, that is state, a lie. We call it supreme wisdom. That is a lie. When you was talking, but I didn't say you lied. You know, I, I wish you would, so I could prove it. I didn't say you lied. No, I wish you would, so I could prove it. You lied, you said. I wish you would, so you could go go to the scripture. You know, Why don't you tell me go to the scripture? You don't see Jesus like Christ. Yeah, listen, tell me to go to the scripture. Because Christ, I said, what are you talking about? These demons always do the same thing. He's the crystal Let me go to the scripture and show you in it. Jesus didn't come to us, brother. Who did Jesus, back in 2000 who did Jesus, Jesus No, who did Jesus come for? No, who was Jesus? And, and, and he, I want you to get me. Let me finish. You're talking about He's not making me answer. He's just talking. He's just talking. You know what I'm saying? Both of you all talk a lot. And, and, and how do you get something done with two people who are extra we gotta about their go faith and religion? No, we got to go to the book, the source. I forget him. Forget me. Forget you too. Let's go. Let's go straight to the book. speech the way I'm handling these two but unfortunately the house is burning I have no time to <laughs> sit back and talk nice to them and worry about a stupid debate back and forth I'm gonna give you the cold-blooded bottom line because the house is burning and when, like, the house, when the house is burning a dictator no it's not a dictator it's got nothing to do with it listen listen look the most high ain't playing with you either Don Mitch. so you, you gotta get your program correct too cause see anybody laughing and think it's a joke you this, is, a this is not this is not look I'm, I'm for you this, 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 you look you just you just another I don't, I don't care what you I don't care what you do you just you just another pop up I don't care what you do they don't like that you haven't changed all these years but you out here preaching for yourself you want you to talk about my change? Yeah, get your act. You, do you really want to know yeah, where I come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, well, let's finish the segment and then do another thing. Then we're going to talk about T. Nice is what he was and what he had. Because I'm not ashamed. A real Israelite, a real Israelite, he came, well, he's a man or woman. They came from sin. You know what sin is? You know what sin is? Of course I do. What, so is wait, wait, what is sin? Wait, watch this. What is sin according to the scriptures? When you break moral laws. Like no, what what laws? Adultery, fornication. But what and those stealing, laws are found where? Uh, murder. So violence, sin is what? Rape. So sin is what does sin mean now? According to the scripture? Wrong doing. Even, no, even. no, no. Transgression of the law. Well, same. That's in the scriptures, right? Yeah. Now, 
I, any Israelite, and it is not one Israelite out there that has not sinned. All men and women have sinned. Your job as an Israelite is to go back to your people and clean yourself up and at the same time clean them up and teach them the truth how to repent. You know what repent means? Change your ways. Get back to the law, statute, judgment, commandments, and above all, listen to Christ, Yahweh in Hebrew, that was sent to the 12 tribes of Israel. Wait a second, let me say it clearly because this is all scripture. You're laughing, but you won't dare tell me to go to You won't. Listen, you won't. 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 You Get con condemned, or you gonna live, or you gonna die. It ain't me. I'm just a messenger, like you are guys, like always claim you messenger. The real messengers, our job is just to deliver the cold blooded facts to you, and then let you deal with it on your own. I'm not here to make myself look some righteous guy. Me, me, me. No, 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 I'm not here to make myself look like some holy righteous guy. I'm here just to say, look, what's in this book? I'm gonna break it down to you. But no. do you know racism is running rampant? No, we don't care about that. I we don't care. And, 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 and the black people need to all band together because they come together. You are not, not going to band together. You're wasting your and time. And that's sad. Yeah, go ahead. Let the brother go ahead. Go ahead. Do whatever you got to do. Go ahead. So, now I noticed the last book of the Old Testament Bible, it says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Before the great and so terrible foolish. day of the Lord comes, he's so foolish. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the land with a curse. Now, that's now you know, it's the last forty years, and people tell me recent some major curses. Listen, 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 to me. Listen to me. California. You know when that was written? You know. You know. Wait, wait. I want to show you something. I'm going to try to wake you up if you get somebody. Elijah is not Muhammad. Or it's not Farad or whoever else. It ain't Farrakhan either. Okay? Let me just get that on the record. Oh, that, is, that, is, that is not an opinion. That is a bold statement. And when you could go back to the scriptures and prove it to me that they are Elijah, then I'll shut up. But you can't do that. Now, I do know the man that came. And I understand who is the messenger and who was a, above all king of kings and lord of lords. Who was sent from the most high. Elijah was just preparing the way for the king of kings. Which is what you call, well, his name is Yahweh Shah. Which is, you call him Jesus Christ. They, he was just preparing the people because sometimes, sometimes you guys can't take it. You need an introduction. You need somebody to introduce the next person coming up. And that Elijah was the one that came to introduce here is the Messiah. Here is the one that the Most High, Yahweh, sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel to give them what? Repentance and remission of sin to teach them back the truth into this book and to show them what they got to do to get back right before the great and dreadful day that's coming, the nuclear war, which, you, which is also known as the second death. The first death was when water, when the Most High killed all those people but the eight souls. But the next step, which is called the second death, when you read the book of Revelation, it's going to go by fire. And that's when you guys are going to understand. Now, I agree with that. It's going to be fire. Yeah. Now, I don't give a damn how many armies you got. I don't care how many men you trick. You're all going into that lake. You're going to get burnt. Because the only one's going to make it out of this next third world's war, and all the hell that's coming on this earth is the elect of the children of Israel and the remnant of the other nations who are going back into captivity, and they're going to be punished for what they did to us and destroying the world and lying, and they're going to be dealt with severely. For a thousand years, we're going to rebuild this, this country or this nation. Not this, I'm not, oh, let me say it right.